Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is the lecture 2 for binomial theorem. Today we want to talk about binomial expansion. Okay. This is a very common uh, formula in mathematics which is like a plus b whole square. It is like a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay, this is also called like perfect square expansion. We call it perfect square expansion. We have a plus b which is a binomial, it is a square, so it's a power of binomial with the power 2. Similarly, we can use this expansion to solve this one a plus b cube. This is also a formula used, but if you want to expandingly solve it, how we can solve it? We can say like it can be written as a plus b into a plus b whole square and a plus b whole square is what? a square plus 2ab plus b square and then we further we can expand multiplication we can say a square plus 2ab plus b square plus b into a square plus 2ab plus b square. What will be a into a square? It will be a cube plus 2a square b plus a b square plus a square b sorry about that a square b plus 2ab square plus b cube. See there is a very important thing here when you are doing simplification and you want to write the term always arrange it alphabetically it will ease the simplification like don't write it like you have a square b don't write it b a square always do it alphabetically a b square x y square it will make it easy to pick the like terms because in the next term we have to pick the like terms like this is a square b this is also a square b so we can write it what 3a square b this is a b square this is a b square so we can write it what 3ab square any term left plus b cube so this is the expansion see it took it took a lot of time to simplify this one what if we want to solve a plus b4 what we want to solve a plus b5 6 long terms big terms so it will take a lot of time so we need to find a way we need to find something that makes this easy okay we want to see something like if it can be done easy there is a there is a thing in mathematics which is called Pascal triangle let's see what is this and how it will help us let's start with a plus b what are the coefficients of a plus b here the coefficients of a is 1 the coefficient of b is 1 let's write here 1 1 okay what is 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so we write here 2 and followed by a 1 here followed by a 1 here now we do this what is 1 plus 2 when we add these two it becomes what 3 and we add these two it becomes what 3 and again followed by a 1 here on this side and 1 here on this side add these two when you want to add this 3 plus 1 it becomes what 4 3 plus 3 will be what 6 3 plus 1 is again what 4 followed by a 1 here followed by a 1 here when you can further add it if you further add it it's like 4 plus 1 5 6 plus 4 10 6 plus 4 10 4 plus 1 5 this is 1 and this is 1 this can be further continued what is this this is basically called Pascal triangle this is row 1 okay this is row 1 we call it this is row 2 this is row 3 and what is this giving us what is the information we are getting is basically we are getting the coefficients of what coefficients of respective expansions like this is a plus b coefficients of a plus b this is the coefficients of a plus b square this is the coefficients of a plus b cube similarly this is a plus b 4 and this is what a plus b power 5 and this can continue so on like this is like yes for example I want to write here 
a plus b cube when I want to write with a plus b cube I start with it this this row I will pick this row we can directly write here this this starts with a highest power of a because it's cube the highest power of a will be cube so I can say this is a cube and what will be b b0 starting with a highest b0 then next this is 3 so if I put here 3 minus 1 from a it will be what a square and b0 now it will be what b1 then what 3 reduce 1 from a a add in 1 in b b square and then the last one will be what 1 coefficient is 1 so a will be 0 and b will be 3 so you directly get the formula of a cube a plus b whole cube which is what a cube because b power 0 anything raised to power 0 is 1 and we have here 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube we got this one directly similarly we can use for a plus b4 and a plus b5 then we will see in the coming questions how we can use this to our advantage okay now let's use this expansion and solve some questions let's do some practice because mathematics is all about practice let's solve x plus 1 cube we want to solve this question see if you look at this it is similar to what a plus b whole cube and this formula we just learned here it's what we learned here we expanded it also and we get it from the triangle also the Pascal triangle it's what a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube see this is an arranged arranged format like starting from a cube then a square then a and then b okay now suppose this is a plus b whole cube you can say that this is your a and this is your b what you have to do you just have to substitute substitute it openly putting these values in this format so we will say what x plus 1 whole cube x is my a so first I have a cube so I do a cube then I have 3 from the formula this one 3 a square so I put x square because a is my x b is 1 so I put here a 1 then I have what plus 3 a b square plus 3 x because it's a and 1 square plus b cube which is what 1 cube now I just open the brackets x cube plus 3x square because 3 times 1 is what 3 and x square is x square plus 3x 1 square is 1 plus 1 this is the expansion when you want to expand it this is the answer let's do some more more practice questions let's take a square root 1 if we have like this one under root x minus 1 cube and root x minus 1 cube now we can again use the same formula which we have here we can write it what a cube so always use bracket first to substitute to avoid mistakes in exam always first do one extra step do the substitution first then open the brackets in the next step we have a cube here uh, there is a thing here there is a minus when we want to solve for minus the formula will be in the format of a minus b cube one thing is that you need to know the formula second thing is that you can use Pascal triangle same way you used it to your advantage to get the minus also what you do just replace b with minus b in the question you will get your answer now let's do let's use this we have a cube plus this one so we have a cube initially we had what a cube b0 plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus a0 b cube if we took this from the Pascal triangle here we solved we had this expression now we'll do what we'll do just replace b with minus b so b power 0 it will not make any change so it will be a cube plus 3a square into minus b plus 3a into minus b square plus minus b cube so what formula we get a cube minus 3a square b 
because this plus minus will become minus this is minus b square minus square when you take square of minus it becomes plus so we have plus 3ab square and cube is negative so minus b cube this is the formula we get same way you can solve for higher powers also like a minus b4 a minus b5 the same Pascal triangle take the coefficients from there and replace b with minus b next question when we will solve for higher powers we will see how we can use it now let's restart it it's what a cube so we have under root x cube minus 3 into a square which is under root x square do the substitution do one extra step to avoid mistakes then you have b1 so you have here 1 plus 3 into under root x which is a and b square will be again 1 square and then you have minus 1 cube open the brackets it's under root x cube under root x cube it's under root x cube so we can we know that this square root is basically what power 2 so we can write it what we can write it x under root x okay how we can do that it's basically 3 times under root under root x into under root x into under root x so this square root and square root they match up power half they become 1 it's like x power 1 over 2 into x power 1 over 2 bases are same you add the power it becomes x and the third one just follows so x under root x x cube can be written as what x under root x minus square and under root can cancel so it will be minus 3x this is no nothing we can do about it it's 1 so we have plus 3 under root x and minus 1 cube will be minus 1 so we expanded it and we got this expression I hope it's clear let's try one more practice question with fraction 2x plus 1 over x cube just want to substitute it the formula we have it we done it from the Pascal triangle we can get it this word a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube see the power of a is decreasing the power of b is increasing okay and coefficients you can get from the Pascal triangle so let's do the substitution this is my word this is a and this is what b when you are doing substitution don't worry what's the value of a and what's the value of b just use the formula substitute it so we have a cube so I can write it what I will write it 2x cube because my a is 2x plus 3 from the formula a square so I put here 2x square into b b is what 1 over x plus 3 into 2x into b square which is 1 over x square plus b cube which is 1 over x sorry about that 1 over x cube now let's open the brackets 2 cube is 8 x cube is x cube so we get here 8x cube this is what this is 2x square this is x so 1 x cancels the square right uh, but this square is for both like 2x square it's whole square so you get what 4x square 4x square into 1 over x x cancels with x to left with 4x and then with 4x times by 3 becomes what 12x so we have here 12x similarly here we had 2x this is 1 over x square so x will cancel the square what's left you will get here 3 2s are 6 this x cancelled with square you have what 6 over and this is 1 over x cube so we can write it 1 over x cube like this this will this is our final answer so we, we tried three questions in cube format okay let us try some questions with higher power let's say we have a plus b4 so how we can how we can get the formula let's quickly draw the triangle here again we will do it quickly because we did it before we have 1 
we have 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, we get here a 1, we get here a 1. So 2 plus 1 becomes 3, 2 plus 1 becomes 3, so we have a 1 here, 1 here. We have 3 plus 1, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4, 1 here and 1 here. So this is enough for A4, but let us do one more. Uh, in the end we will solve uh, questions which is also yes A plus B 5 so we need it let's draw one more 4 plus 1 is 5 6 plus 4 10 6 plus 4 10 4 plus 1 is 5 1 here and 1 here from here from this row we can get the formula of A plus B 4 because this is row number 4 so let's start its highest power is 4 so we have A 4 B 0 plus 4 a cube b1 plus 6 a square b square plus 4 a b cube plus b4 when you will solve it you should get this formula right yes it's correct now b power 0 is uh, 1 so we can write it like a4 plus 4 a cube b plus 6 a square b square plus 4 a b cube plus b4 see the Pascal triangle made it very easy if it was not Pascal triangle then we have to solve it in the first step we did it for a plus b cube and we have to do lots of steps in this we just get it the formula we have the formula from just one step so now using this formula let us use this formula and solve the question we had Let's we have let's try this one. We have one plus x four. We want to solve it. So this is our a, and this is our b. So what we do very carefully, we'll do the substitution. We have first a four. So it will be what? It will be one power four, right? Plus four a cube b. So four into one cube into x, which is your b, plus six and to decrease the power of a and increase the power of b 6x square plus 4 into 1 into x cube plus x power 4 now just open simplified 1 power 4 is 1 plus 1 power 1 cube is also 1 so we have here 4x so we have 1 square so it's again this one so we have 6x square and this we have what plus 4x cube and the last we have plus x4 this is the answer we just got it in two steps with the help of what with the help of Pascal triangle right there is a question in the book it says that expand a minus b4 let us do some simplification practice it is good it's like tuning yourself you should do simplification practice we want to we want to get the formula by expanding it so how we can expand we can say that we have a minus b into what a minus b cube we can write a minus b4 like a minus b into a minus b cube which we can write it what we can write it as a minus b into a minus b into what a minus b whole square whole square is what we know that it is what a minus b into a minus b into a square minus 2ab plus b square right if we don't have the Pascal triangle we have to do it like this expansion now let's make it more simplified form we have keep it outside solve first these two so a into a square minus 2ab plus b square minus b into a square minus 2ab plus b square I'm doing expanding it be careful with the simplification and always try to be in order so a into a square will be what a cube minus 2a square b plus a b square arrange it always alphabetically like don't write it b a, b a square always write it minus a square b so that when you want to pick the like terms it becomes easy minus minus will become plus 
plus 2ab square minus b cube. So you should get here what the cube formula. When this says expand you have to start from either the scratch or from perfect square you can use. Don't directly use the cube. The examiner may cut your mark here. Like you can say like it is a minus b cube so I can use it. Examiner may cut your mark. a cube. This is a square b. This is a square b. So it will be minus 3a square b. This is a b square. This is a b square. So plus 3ab square minus b cube. This is the cube one. Always count the terms should be same like a one, two, because these are together now two. This is three and four. So I have four terms. Now we'll do one more step and we are done. A into a cube minus when you're doing simplification it's better to do one step extra and be extra sure because one step is wrong you can get the wrong answer and you have to do all the question again like some of you may think like what is the purpose of writing this step it will make you confident with the next step do one step one thing in one step always so do you don't have the error or simplification mistakes now a into a cube it will be what we have a4 minus 3 a into a square will make it a cube b plus 3 a square b square minus a b cube minus a cube b write it alphabetically don't write it b a cube then you have may have error in finding the like terms plus 3 a square b square minus minus becomes plus okay then minus b into this it will be minus 3 a b cube plus b4 plus b4 so this is a cube b any other way you have a cube b this is a cube b so it becomes what you have a4 minus 4 a cube b this is a square b square this is also a square b square so i can write it plus 6 a square b square then I have a b cube this is also a b cube it can be written as minus 4 a b cube and then this is what this is b4 so we get the formula this is this is what this is by expansion like if the question says don't use Pascal triangle or says expand then you have to use this formula this sorry this technique to solve the question Okay, let's do one more and uh, let's solve a higher power. Let's solve something which is x power 5. Let us solve x plus 2 raised to power 5. Let us take the formula from Pascal triangle. We had it before. Yes, we did it here. Let me make some space here so we can solve this now for power 5. See this is this is row five. So highest power will be a five, a five b zero, b zero means b power one. So we directly write a five. Now decrease a increase b. So this will be what five a four b five a four b. Then plus ten a cube b square plus ten a square b square plus 5 a b cube plus b 4 this formula will be for a plus b power 5 same way you can design for a minus b power 5 for that what we have to do we have to replace b with minus b instead of using positive b we will use minus b like if i want to write the formula for a minus b power 5 then it will be what a5 now plus 5 a4 here will be what minus b then plus 10 a cube minus b square replace b with minus b because this is eventually you can write it like what a plus minus b it's another question you can say like we can write it like this and we can just replace b with minus b we have 10 a cube minus b square right and then 
the next term is plus 10 a square minus b cube right if I'm not wrong yeah 0 I made a mistake here I think a5 5a square b a, a should be a cube b this is a b 4 and this is 5 I mixed it with 5 4 sorry so b b square b cube see we have to be very careful doing simplification plus 5 a minus b power 4 plus minus b power 5 now we can simplify it and get the formula which is a5 this is minus so it becomes minus 5 a4 b this is square so square will make it positive so it will be 10 a cube b square this is minus cube is negative so negative 10 a square b cube it is even power so even is always positive so it will be 5 a b 4 minus b 5 this is the formula for a minus b 5 you can directly get it from Pascal triangle and you don't have to do the expansion now using these two formulas we can solve uh, power 5 also we have it here let's let's solve it we have or we can copy the question there so we can use the formula we have x plus 2 power 5 so we have here a5 plus 5 a4 b so we can say we have here a power 5 plus the coefficient is 5 reduce x increase y 5x power 4 into 2 next coefficient was 10 so 10 a power will go down b power will go up so we can say here square next coefficient is again 10 10 x power 2 and 2 power cube plus 5 we have x and here it is what 2 power 4 plus 2 power just substitution you reduce the power of a increase the power of b like here for 5 4 3 2 1 0 it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is expansion now just open the brackets x power 5 this is 5 2s are 10 plus 10 x 4 2 square is 4 4 tens are 40 it's 40 x cube then 2 cube is 8 a tens are 80 so it will be 80 x square 2 power 4 is 16 16 fives are 80 I think 80 x and 2 power 5 is 32 so plus 32 so if you don't have the expansion either we have to memorize the formula or we can use Pascal triangle for our advantage that will be all we are going to discuss in this video next time we are going to talk about binomial theorem which is even more interesting than this Pascal triangle but for that we need to know these things so we are going on track that will be all for today see you all next time thank you thank you so much for your time